All right, you guys, so I just went to an estate sale and I was super excited because it showed all these amazing pictures of tons of boxes and it was a hoarder's estate and I walked out with nothing. So it was about 15 minutes from the Goodwill outlet, the bins. So I thought I would uh, head in here and see if we can find any treasures. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's head on in. We are going to grab a cart and then we are gonna see what treasures we can find. Um, I'm gonna say that I love the bins. <laughs> I wanna go like once a week. So expect more videos coming soon. I actually um, just went again since this video. So I gotta get everything listed and get that video uh, ready to go also. So super excited. I am putting the uncut version. So that's just me at the bins, going through the bins, no educational info, just you watching me dig to see if you can figure out what I bought and what treasures I may have missed. So those will be over on my other channel. That's linked down in the description. So we're gonna dig here. I did cut mm, probably 15 minutes out of the video. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some of the digging, but mostly when I find something or come close to finding something because I want this video to be educational. So those tapes right there, the cassette tapes, the blank tapes, if you can find the old vintage ones, some of those go for really good money. The one I found was just a nice bread and butter, but I figured it probably cost me 50 cents, um, maybe 75 cents. At my bins, it is $1.79 a pound for anything but books. Books are 59 cents a pound. So those were two small toys that I picked up. A lot of people will not waste their time with the small toys, but I really enjoy listing small toys and shipping small toys. Um, if you've been around my channel for a while and you watch my What Sold videos, you see that I sell a lot of those. And they're just a great bread and butter item. And they are items that are missed at the bins because people don't mess with them. But you can get them for like 10, 20 cents. It's so worth the pickup. And they're quick and easy to list. Okay, I'm coming up on an item that I always go low for when I'm out at garage sales. These are clip clop Fisher Price little people, um, and they like they move and they go with a playset. I don't know if that was the playset, but it has um, not like a slide, but it slopes down so they like clip clop when they go down it. It's super cute. Uh, I believe I have a video on my reseller testing Bolo products of how it works but love finding those. They usually sell pretty quickly, um, depending on how you price it. They're, you know, and which princesses you have. All right, you guys, was this wrong? Was this wrong? Tell me what you think in the comments. I came home and I asked my husband and he told me it was wrong. And I'm like, I don't think there's any rules at the bins. Like I didn't wanna buy the whole house. I just wanted the door. I don't know. I feel like I asked some people there and they're like, it's fine. You can do that. You're allowed to do that. And um, I did pick up this little Shopkins. Today I was there and I saw a lady open up a game and just pull out some of the game pieces. So I know it's kind of like anything goes at the bins. But after I did it, I was kind of like, should I have done that? So you guys let me know in the comments. I had a little bit of a conscience about it. And I'm like, should I or should I not? All right, we are going to keep looking here. And the only reason I did it is because I buy those at thrift stores all the time. And I take off the parts and then um, I redonate the house because sometimes people will still want the house. But I, they're too heavy to ship and it's just not worth it. Now this was a fantastic find. I've got this up for auction. I don't know if it's gonna sell on auction, but there were none listed. And um, you see, I sat it back down because I didn't think it was anything special. But then you're gonna see here that I pick it back up and put it in my cart and I'm glad I did. This is a Bionicle, it is incomplete. I still picked it up because it was very lightweight and I just listed it as incomplete for parts. 
for somebody who has that item and maybe is just missing a few pieces. It's a bread and butter item, not for everyone. Okay, the horse. So if you push on its hiney there, there's a button and it makes it like uh, move its front feet. It's pretty cool. But there were some really good comps on some different styles. I think there was one like that that was 35 and it had some weapons, but it was not in as good a condition as mine. So we'll see. If it doesn't sell on auction, I will put it at a buy it now or best offer and I'll probably raise the price. That's typically what I do. So let's see, I'm trying to remember. I did add, I did leave in some footage so you guys can see a little of the treasure hunt. I got different feedback from different people. Some people want the whole video and some people just wanna see the treasures. This item I only put on Poshmark um, it's like a building block uh, mug, and there were a lot on eBay. So I went ahead and just put it on Poshmark. I felt like it wasn't as saturated over there and had a better chance of selling visually because it looks really cool, and it, when you share your closet, it pops up in people's feed. Um, I do cross-post. I start on eBay, and I cross-post to Mercari and Poshmark. I use List Perfectly. There's a demo video down in the description if you want to check that out. And if you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. Now, I did not put that item on eBay because, again, there were just so many listed. These little guys, I went to list on eBay, and there was a recall alert that popped up. I didn't go in and really dig deep to check to see if it was actually a recalled item. I just decided to donate because they were a bread and butter item. If you want to see how to research if the item is recalled, I do have a video on this channel that shows you how to do that. So you can check that out. This is a little Tykes car. After further research, I found out that this is a remote control car. And I found the red car and then I later find the blue car. I then went back to another bin and found both remotes. And then I found both people. I was so excited. I mean, it's not a big money bolo or anything, but I was just excited that I completed the set. That little figure was a Weeble. Um, they range really just a small bread and butter item there. Here's the blue car. So I was happy to find that, but still didn't know what they were at that point in time. I had not looked them up. So when I looked them up, I was able to know what the little drivers looked like and able to go back and look and find them. This is a Skin So Soft Avon brush. Some Avon brushes are the vintage ones can be a big money bolo. So look those up if you find them. That, I don't know if that's gonna do well or not, the Skin So Soft. This is another wild card. I just thought it was really cool. It reminds me of those um, little umbrellas that you put in like a margarita or something when you're on vacation. So I was thinking that would be like a great prop if somebody was having like a tiki party or something like that. So that's how I'm marketing it in my title. I don't know if it'll sell or not. It what, was probably two or three bucks. So I figured it was worth the, sh worth the gamble and we'll just see if it sells. So if anybody needs a giant tiki umbrella and it's really cool because it has wood it's wood and then whatever the material is you definitely can't use it as an umbrella did you guys see the remote i haven't seen it yet <laughs> here it is i found it oh nope i'm ignoring it you know what i wonder if i didn't pick it up there i don't think i did i didn't even see it that's right i looked it up later and then went back and found it that is so funny. See, my eyes did not even see it because I did not know what I was looking for. So I used um, Google Lens to look that up. And if you guys don't have Google Lens, it is completely free. It's an app on your phone. Okay, this is a Coach wallet. Now, if you guys are not following Rachel Strick Strickland on YouTube, I highly recommend it. She has an amazing reseller channel, but she did this video on Coach bags and how to identify if they are authentic or not. And she literally cuts up things and shows you guys what to look for. It's an amazing video. Definitely go and check her out. Subscribe to her channel for sure. She's amazing. But that video, wow. 
just really, really knowledgeable about identifying um, if purses are legit. And I know she's doing some other videos on some other brands coming soon. All right, these are Diego Nickelodeon um, Animal Rescue Rail Railway. I put these back down and then I kept looking and I kept seeing more. So I was able to make two separate sets. If I only would have found one or two, I probably wouldn't have picked it up, but I did find six total and then I found Diego. I found him earlier. And then I also find the little computer stand, which goes to the playset, which again, I only knew because I looked it up on Google Lens and I saw the playset and knew that it went with it. So I think I passed it by here and then I came back and got it later after I looked it up. And I will do that, you know, because when I'm digging through the bins, I'm not looking stuff up. I'm throwing stuff in my cart and then I'm looking it up later. Um, tell me what you guys do. Do you look stuff up while you're there or do you just throw it in your cart and buy it and take it home and look it up? I am guilty of sometimes leaving things in my cart that I did not look up. And sometimes I get home and I'm like, what was I thinking? But, you know, it's just depends if, you know, you get interrupted. There's like new carts coming out and wait until you guys see what they bring out. They bring out three new bins and that the one bin is stocked full of just wait. You're not going to believe it. And I already sold three of the items from that bin. So stay tuned for that. That's coming towards the end of the video, but just could not believe it. One guy like, well, I'll tell you about it when we get there. All right, let's see. I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was a GI Joe or what. I did pick up this VTEC train. My sale has not kicked in on that yet. Um, any of the VTEC things like that, I typically will pick up. Some of them I'll bundle. That's just gonna be a bread and butter, probably a $10 maybe even $8 item, but it's a replacement part for a playset. Okay, here is the little computer. So I did list that. You can see I threw it back down. I came back for it later. I didn't know what it was then. All right. So there are tons and tons of hard good bins. And I did actually, um, I ran into Dad Planet while I was there, which is really funny because I didn't know he was gonna be there and I'm like, Hey, and um, he sources mostly clothing and like bags and hats and stuff like that. He does pick up hard goods from time to time, but his main focus is the other, the other bins. So I'm in the hard goods and he's over in that other area, but definitely go over to his channel and see what he found that day. I know he released the video the same day. Um, but I'm really behind because I wanted to get everything listed for you guys so you could see what I bought. I think it was only last week. It'll probably be two weeks by the time I get this finished and posted. But yeah, go check out his channel. And we have another Ben's collaboration coming up in the near future. He won the last one. I can't believe he won. You guys got to vote. I think I did pretty good, but I also think it was a little bit confusing because he had thrift store footage at the beginning and I had been at the bins earlier. And so there was just a lot of footage and we didn't really have a plan because it was unexpected. Um, we weren't planning on doing a challenge that day. So if you guys want to know more about that and see what we picked up, I picked up the weirdest item I have ever picked up. Um, it's the thumbnail that says 130 on the front. Um, that's the one you want to look for. And his has a picture of everybody getting ready to dig into the bins. But both of us talked about the items we picked up and how we listed everything. So super educational. And I think his is called a YouTuber called me or something like that. So you can get the whole story on those videos. All right. So I'm just kind of talking to you guys while I dig because I haven't really found anything to tell you about. So that was a good time to exp explain all of that. I also, um, let's see, I was trying to think what I find next. That didn't have anything in it. If it would have, I probably would have picked it up. Cross stitch kits, they don't weigh much. 
So you can usually get them for about a buck. And I usually pick up cross stitch kits, whether they're bread and butter or big money, if I can get them that cheap because they usually sell. Okay, here wow. it is, you guys. Victoria's oh, Secret Forgot. dropped off all of this <laughs> stuff. All right totes and totes wow. of these dogs the plush dogs so here's what happened i put a whole bunch in my cart and then i decided that everybody was buying these and everybody was going to have these on ebay and i really didn't want to mess with it this is tissue Ooh. paper and i put it back and then i ended up getting two of them what would you guys do would you list wow. the tissue paper or would you keep it and use it for your shipping. Um, it does say Victoria's Secret, Happy Holidays or something like that on it. So I'm guessing it's just a discontinued print that they're no longer using. Now these are gift card plush and I did pick up quite a few of those. I ended up bringing four of them home with me and the plush dogs I ended up giving to somebody else after they were completely gone from the bins. Um, one yeah, guy grabbed the entire it. tote and put it in his cart, like he, the, it, the whole tote, he took the, the whole tote of everything that was left. Now, so I just yeah, figured that the market was going to be flooded with those and I didn't want to mess with them. Really the gift yeah, cards, I, I kept four and I, got, I'm going to pop up a screenshot here I'm soon. Like, I'm I already sold three of them and I have one left. But again, I gave all the plush dogs. I almost ran into that lady, poor thing. Um, I gave all the plush dogs to another lady that was there. And I gave her a couple of the gift card things too. So now I'm just patiently waiting my turn. I don't like to like shove my way in um, when people are digging. I, I just, it makes me uncomfortable. So I kind of just stand back and wait until a spot opens up and go in and look for the things that everybody missed. Now, is that ideal? I don't know. What do you guys do? Are you the... See, he just grabbed the tote. That whole tote. He took it all. <laughs> He's serious. So I think I did good getting my gift card dogs listed early because they sold really quick. All right, uh, they sold way quicker gets. than I expected. And I had four of them, but I couldn't remember if I had three or four when I listed it. So I put uh, quantity three and... When I checked, I actually had four, so I did um, create a new listing for the, the one, the single, but I wonder if the person would have bought all four of them if I would have had them all listed. I did see some people that had them listed for like 25, 30 bucks a piece, which I don't know, I thought that was really high, and I just listed mine competitively so that I could move them quickly in case a bunch of people were gonna start listing them. There are a ton of resellers at this Benz. All right, very, very cool. Okay, I always say Schley, but it's actually Schleich. Um, I do pick up that brand when I see it. They're like animals and stuff like that. Um, I did pick this up. I have not listed it yet. I don't know how I missed it, but um, I didn't get it listed. So I gotta do that. Check this out, you guys. It's a Yeti, it's a Yeti cup. And it's got a little dent in it, but before I left, I did show that to Dad Planet, and he's like, oh, that might be a rare color. And I'm like, I think my husband will want it. And he's like, oh, you better check the color. Sometimes those are a bolo. So he did um, shoot me a message over on Facebook later that said it was some color, and he told me how much I, he thought I could get for it. But um, I showed my husband, and he, he liked it. So definitely going to give that to my husband. Okay, so this car, which is funny because you guys remember I took the door off of the Calico Critters house, the trunk was missing from the car. So I am selling it um, as is missing trunk. But I wonder if somebody did what I did and pulled the trunk off. I did look this up. It was, um, is it Fire King? Um, but it was, um, the comps weren't good. I was going to get that watch and then I wasn't. And then I decided to look through the other stuff in the bin and I ended up grabbing it. Um, my husband likes watches, but after further inspection, when I got home, it had some corrosion and stuff. So probably not a good buy. I think it was just like a Timex or something. It would have been a bread and butter item, but um, he can put batteries in that stuff for me. Um, or I just give them to him and he can list them. I really don't like listing watches. Um, 
So that stuff with batteries and all that, I just give to him. All right. He doesn't list too much, but from time to time, he works full time. If he did this full time, oh my goodness, our store would be amazing because my husband, he is, he has an amazing eye. He sources, like he's way better than me, way better than me. He'd be picking up the high end stuff. He probably wouldn't like this place. He likes to go to the flea markets and and look for the treasures. You know, I like to dig through the bins and go to the yard sales and stuff like that. We do yard sale together and he likes estate sales a lot. I, I'm okay with estate sales. I like to get stuff really cheap. I did pick up this little Mickey Mouse. It's a little push toy you push on the head and then it rolls. Just another bread and butter item. All right. I did open this up and it had some buttons in it and but i just saw the remote that's so funny that's the one i totally missed earlier that goes with my cars so the little buttons i probably could have sold these um i don't know i was holding my phone trying to do put them back in there they were shoved in there which they'll probably sell better not being in there but i tried to get them back in there anyway okay this is a bag of beans and then there's a little um flocked Pooh and Piglet, they're just mini figures. And there was one more little item in there that was a McDonald's vintage replacement part. And I went ahead and listed it since it was in the bag, but you know, just major, major bread and butter there. If it even sells, we'll see. I like to challenge myself sometimes to uh, sell things that I don't think will sell. All right, let's see. We're getting near the end here. Definitely go check out Rachel Strickland and Dad Planet. Those are the channels I mentioned in this video. And thanks for watching.